Hello, and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So, it's been a little while since I've made a video, but I wanted to come back with a little bit of a bang. So, we have a suggestion from the worst channel ever, hyphen gaming. And they suggest something that a lot of you probably already know what's going to happen, but they're asking us to collide UI Skatai with Canis Majoris. So, first off, I want to kind of give you guys an idea of how big UI Skatai is compared to Canis Majoris. So, let's go ahead and add in Canis Majoris next to UI Skatai. They are roughly the same size, UI Skatai is a little bit bigger. And then next to UI Skatai, we'll put our very own sun. Oh, wait, that's. Where is it? Where's the sun? Alright, ah, there it is. Really, really, really tiny compared to these stars. And then, of course, it's not going to be very healthy here, but we'll put Earth right beside the sun. So there is Earth compared to the sun, compared to Canis Majoris and UI Skatai. So, as you can see, they are two very, very big stars, to kind of give you an idea of how big this collision is actually going to be. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in, and let's launch Anis Majoris at US Katai. Let's choose a velocity of 100 meters per second. Go. So, here is these two monster stars getting ready to collide. Let's go ahead and slow down time a little bit, and let's hit play. Okay, so 100 kilometers per second is actually very, very fast. But the thing is, this is actually very, very far away. These stars are incredibly huge. So we're going to have to speed up time a little bit. And here they go. This is three months per second. Now we're gonna slow it down right at the end here because this is gonna happen very violently and very quickly. Whoa. Did you guys see that? You know, Skatai, or Canis Majoris actually like launched straight downwards 90 degrees. Very interesting, but it looks like there was actually two supernova events that happened here between both stars. So, let's see what's left. So, UI Skatai is still a large star, and Canis Majoris is also still a star, both Nova remnants. Very interesting. You would have thought one of them would have turned into a black hole at least. Or at least like a neutron star or something, but it looks like that is what happened right there. Let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and zoom out and let these supernovas kind of expand. And these are going to last for a thousand years. And there they go. A few hundred thousand years, actually, but let's go ahead and relaunch the simulation. We'll just place these two as still objects. We'll place Canis Majoris right here, and we'll just let these two kind of use their own gravity to fall into each other. Let's see what happens then. Keeping in mind that Canis Majoris is actually the more massive star, while UI Skatai is actually a bigger star. Oh, and there goes UI Skatai, apparently. And the supernova has just been distorted and launched that way. Well, that was an interesting result as well. You can see the uh, collision mark there. It was very interesting that that actually happened that way, but that also tells me the game's not actually processing that properly. So let's go ahead and check the settings and debug it a little bit. Interestingly enough, in older versions of the game, I've actually done very similar experiments to this. And typically, you would result with a black hole. In this case, not so much. For some reason, it wants to launch like 90 degrees off to the side. This will launch UI Skatai at Canis Majoris at a velocity of 1500 kilometers per second. 
and just kind of witness what happens. Okay, so that was a little bit more what you would actually expect to happen. You at least got a supernova here. The resulting star there is still a nova remnant. I don't think there's any option to actually update the star, so... This is some kind of crazy white dwarf, but the problem is, I think it's still incredibly large if I'm right. In fact, if we put something like, um... Bird Polaris B. And Polaris. Ah, there it is. Putting something like Polaris beside this star, it's still really, really big, so there's no way that's actually like a white dwarf. But it's just called a Nova Remnant. Interesting. Let's go ahead and delete these particles and do one more experiment. Let's do R38A1, or R36A1, I mean. Let's place it as a still object right here. Keeping in mind that R136A1 is actually the most massive star that we know about. Much smaller than New Waskatai, you'll be able to see right here, but it has a mass of 260 suns. So let's go ahead and launch this at it and see what we actually get. Okay, that's interesting, because this Nova Remnant is actually a black hole. So maybe Candace Majoris and New Waskatai won't make a black hole. If they were to ever actually collide, of course. But, there you go. That is what would happen if Canis Majoris collided with UI Skatai in Universe Sandbox 2. If you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.